Very briefly, I'd like to invite your attention to Paul's epistle to the Galatians. For your consideration, the sixth chapter. Uh, we would like for you to know the, the third, uh, the fourth, and the fifth verses. Galatians chapter six. Galatians chapter six. six. Galatians chapter six. Beginning at verse number three including with verse number five. When we all have the same mind. Let us read it together, shall we begin? to 
strangers when it comes even to Red Cross. I wish I had some. All right. Because you heard about the tragedy that happened tonight. Right. 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 Is, is that right? Amen. You heard, you heard about what happened on the East Coast and how, how folk lost their homes and, and, and was destitute. And the Red Cross came on TV and said, we want you to help. Just send your money to the Red Cross. Uh -huh. You ain't never seen the Red Cross. All right. I wish I had. All right. The Red Cross has no face. It has a symbol. Y'all not talking. Amen. Amen. And yet there are many of us who are Christians, many of us who are believers, many of us who go to church, sends money to Red Cross, uh -huh. have no idea if it actually gets to the person we're trying to send it to, that we have a problem giving money in the church right. to people we see every side. Amen. Mm. The old folks used to say, I need to leave them old folks alone. <laughs> they did I need to let them go. Because ain't nobody living old folk. Ah. So when I talk about old folk, I ain't talking about living. Ah. Mm. I, I'm talking about the one gone. Ah. Old folk used to say, charity began. Uh -huh. Somebody knows uh -huh. what I'm talking about. Amen. If you ain't going to take care of home, don't take care of <laughs> who will send money to tell an evangelist who don't even know their name. All right. But won't even show up for their own pastors. All right. Amen. Right. Amen. You heard that. Amen. We have a responsibility, as Paul says, to minister to serve one another. All right. All right. I wish I had. Amen. I wish I had a witness here. Last week as we began this, he was talking about if a brother is overtaken in a fault, uh -huh. which suggests that if a brother among the company All right. should happen to see him, it's up to the person who is spiritually stronger, not intellectually smart. All right. All right. Get that to All right, again. go ahead. Some folks think that because they're smarter than you, because <coughs> uh -huh. they got a little more education than you, because uh -huh. they read more than you, All right. that they can help you. Uh -huh. I wish I had. Go ahead. Hey, Amen. I need to hurry up. I'm getting warm. Uh -huh. Listen, I went to a private college, not by choice, but because I was eager. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes the Lord got to bless you. Yeah. But he can't bless you unless you're in. Ah, ah, all right, all but right. You're smart. You always miss the blessing. Uh huh. Amen. I wish I had. Amen. So I got to a private college, which happened to be religious. Ah. Mm. Mm. And it was a Baptist. Ah. <laughs> Ain't too many Baptist colleges. Uh huh. Amen. So I got to the private college. I got there by accident because I wanted to play football. Uh huh. They offered me a sweet deal. I was going to play football. I, it didn't matter to me. All right. As long as I, y'all know. You might have to play sports. Amen. Amen. Just like, that ain't many of y'all, is it? <laughs> anyway, I was a football player in high school. All right. So, we always in high school had this dream of getting a scholarship to go to college. All right, amen. Play football. Amen. And uh, when I first left, I didn't get no scholarship. Uh huh. Well, part of it had to do with the fact that I spent five years in high school. Uh -huh. All right. High school was four years. Ah. Uh -huh. You ain't got no business there. Five. Right. Amen. So. So by the time I graduated, there weren't very many colleges that was interested in my academic ability. All right. Because in order to get in college, at least this is the way it used to be, you had to have a grade point average from high school. All right. And it could not be below C. All right. Now, if you wanted to get into the best schools, you had to have a B. Ah. Amen. Amen. 